another fairy tale fables game. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, we got amateur Cheshire Cat Guanyin, mischievous Bruni. I'm feeling mischievous. Believe me. Uh, I think I want to take the one I feel is the strongest of the bunch for the first game of the day. I just, you know, first game of the day. I think I think I'll take the one that seems beefiest. Also, part of my and this probably isn't just my own personal play pattern here. Ah, shoot, lost my SFX again. Hello. Do I turn the timer sound on? Does that help? I don't know. I don't want to have the timer sound, but if it helps, I'll do it. Getting a freed prince pretty quick is definitely a pretty normal play in my book. Only thing that's been able to fill the SBB shaped hole in your heart? Absolutely. Same here. Same here. Nothing that came out. You know, that SBB went offline May 1st. Really call it the end of April because it was, you know, like 1, 2 a.m. my time. But it went offline May 1st. And everything I've played since then, nothing is nothing has hit the spot quite like this. So I feel that. I think so, Walking Sponge, just because of Immutable Idol existing for the most part. Now that doesn't necessarily like Guan Yin gets a little bit more value longer term, right? Let's go ahead and take that and take a weapon. Now I could trade two out if I saw something in the shop that I wanted, but you know, it's funny. It's like you pick up the freed prince, you trans or you pick up the talking frog, you transform it into the freed prince, you get that royal aura buff. Then you see an Elaine and you're like, well, it's got range. So I guess I am incentivized to have that. I could sell the two items and pick up the dwarfy. That seems counterproductive. Oh, you never heard that explanation? Yeah, it's uh, I, Krista, what I found was there's a, there's an exploit that you can use to just generate free crystals. And so pretty much I've just left the game running since I got the open beta on October 20th. You know, like when I'm not playing, I just leave the game running and I've just been abusing this exploit for months. <laughs> Do you believe me? <laughs> Probably not now. I know you know me too well. I know you know me too well. But also, like, once I got started with that little spiel, I had to, you know, I just, it was too fun. Oh, wait, actually, I don't have to lock this. What am I doing? I have to sell fast, though, in case somebody else readies up. I only got three seconds to buy this talking frog. Let's go. No, 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 no. <laughs> the story is, the story is much less dramatic than all that. Uh, the story goes, I was one of the first, like, half dozen testers, right? I was one of the first half dozen people who Lara looped in and got their hands on this game. There, there were a handful of us, you know, Lara pinged us, but I was one of the first half dozen who jumped in and joined the testing group. And as I did that, I wanted to find all the feels bad. My, my mission when I jumped in was find comps that feel too oppressive. Because my, my whole idea on balance is not that... So you, you got this concept of perfect balance in our universe and people talk about this being balanced and that not being balanced and the X, Y, and Z. For me, perfect balance, it just means that one comp is not the only thing that you play, you know? Like there's not one no-brainer thing that chokes everything else out. Uh, a perfectly balanced game can have stronger strategies and weaker strategies and those strategies can rotate in power level as patches happen, in my opinion. So my whole goal, because that's my opinion on balance, was to find the things that felt entirely unbalanced. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is a bad call going pirate map first, but I do have two other treasures lined up. If you take that, you need three, three more treasures. Double caster's cool, but I got to go after the lark today and every day, not just today. Every day I intend to go after a lark, but Today specifically, just because, like I said, I, I, I caught myself, I felt like I was doing the same plays over and over and over again, which makes sense. There are certain things that are going to be stronger than other things in the early game. Let's definitely take an ice ring. Free stats on my Acolyte that I scooped. Possibly shouldn't have scooped, but free stats on my Acolyte. So back to finishing that story, uh, because I was one of the first handful of testers and I was looking for feels bads. The other thing I wanted to do was find heroes that felt out of whack, you know, but I, I would get in and I, I had, you know, the, the, the 8K, or yeah, I think it's 8,000 crystals everybody starts with, but I had the crystals everybody started with and I unlocked a hero and I played it, you know, and I played another game, unlocked another hero. And I went to Lara and I went, well, I want to test some more. I'm out of crystals. I want to be able to unlock some more heroes. So Lara topped me off with another, you know, like eight to 12K or something like that. And I'd play for a little while and I'd lie 
I'd unlock a hero, I'd unlock a hero, I'd unlock a hero, and I'd go back to Lyra. This happened three or four times, Krista. And then after one round of it, Lyra kind of, you know, just made sure I didn't have to ask ever again. <laughs> so basically, I think I just kind of... I didn't spam Lara. Like, it's not like... It, it was good. The game needed testing. It was... There was nothing salacious, but... There was way funner to go... Yeah, actually, I stole all those. <laughs> you know me. Shout out to Theft. Consider this. Consider this. Okay, uh, it's my turn. Now I've missed some of the conversation because I wanted to finish telling that story. You are a horse thief. Not sure we can trust. Can and fod. I, come on, look. You haven't ever seen me steal anything. I, I wish you didn't have to flip them all. I know, that's kind of a weird thing that's locked in my head from the SPB paradigm, but... You haven't installed the game. You've generated zero crystals missing matter. That, that is the opposite of what I did. I installed the game and then bothered Lara until I have a literal horde of crystals. I did kind of think, though, that Lara was going to take them all away, but now that I think about it, I'm like, Lara could take them all away, but I've already unlocked half the game, right, Lara? I thought after it went from closed beta to open beta, the whole thing would be reset because that was just my assumption, but, you know, when it went from closed beta to open beta, folks had already started unlocking things and spent time collecting resources and things, so, like, it doesn't make sense to reset the state of everything for everyone, right? Because that would just be a big feels bad, so... I never really thought that far down the line, but I also, like, I don't... I don't know, I feel funny having so many more crystals than anybody else. It, it is a little funny. It's just the thing it is. Hi, Happiness. Haymaker works by giving food stats at the start of the fight, and then no matter where you have it, whether it's on your board or in your hand, it'll retain a portion of those food stats. Uh, that's how it works. Does that help? You had me at, wait, PG-13 stream? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. I see what you're going on about. I think I thought I saw you smile. Oh, wait, no. Shoot. I'm at the wrong part of the song. Ah, uh, we need you. I also need to awaken this last talking frog. I don't... It's not really... They're not... <laughs> it's not the same thing as the old game. It's the, you know, it's not... It's, it's a different thing. It's a different thing. But I do need to throw a spell. Unfortunately, Morphalot doesn't count to transform the frog for whatever reason. I think it should when it goes back the next turn, but it doesn't count, so that's not the one I want to roll with here. I don't think, as much as I could get that one extra stat, I want to see actually, let's, if I remember, it's not guaranteed I recall, but if I recall, let's take a look at the Acolyte. I want to see if it grew on the bench. I bet it could. I don't really care if one of these eggs pops this turn. Let's save the egg treasure. It should be good. Take these crystals and leave me alone. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Keep hearing it as pirate map because there's this board game we used to play where at the end of the turn, you set your leftover pirates aside to fight later. We called that mechanic pirate nap. <laughs> pirate map is pirate nap. I even read that wrong. I read it as pirate map, not pirate nap. I mean, I, to be fair, I did do a lot of testing, Krista, so maybe, <laughs> maybe I did earn it a little bit, you know? I, I, I put some time in early on. I put some time in. Uh, walking Sponge, I have like nearly 600,000. Uh, I was gift or gifted. I was given 550,000 all in one chunk by Lara when I finally asked one time too many. I don't know. Unlock a special frame and background for us to enjoy. The funny thing is I, I am so not the guy who worries about or thinks about or buys cosmetics. <laughs> So uh, I am like the biggest waste of crystals of like this magnitude to yeah. <laughs> So many other people would be doing so much more with these riches than I am doing Well, I don't want to triple these anymore So I'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna buy a book and I'm gonna play that now And I'm gonna sell two of the froggos to get the book and I do have the mana to do that remember Remember to mind your mana. I probably should have saved the ones that were transformed instead of this one, but I don't see any of the three ever hitting the board again. Theft, allegedly. Wait. Oh, it did work. It did work. Nice. Why is there no theft command? I was actually crying, not smiling. Oh. Happy. Hmm. 
At least use the free gems to advertise the cosmetics. I probably ought it. Okay, well, it, somebody remind me if I don't think about it between games, but... Wait. Oh, this did gain the... This did gain the... Oh, no, I, did I... I didn't cast a spell, right? No, I bought two things. This gained the stat on the bench from the ice ring. The acolyte grew on the bench. I... <laughs> Remi telling people to remind me about something else reminded me to remember to look at the Acolyte. And the Acolyte grew on the bench because of the spell cast, even though it wasn't in the combat. There's a lot of that in this game where things do stuff on the bench, even though you might not expect it. I say a lot of that. There, there's, there's some. If you get a knight from it, is he Sir Morphalot? Yes, definitely. All right. I don't think I, I've, I've been talking to people now. It's a uh, walking sponge. Missing Mattery, M. Dub, Yuck. Krista Rashi. I free rolled. Oh, so it didn't. Okay. It's like, <laughs> I said I'm a little tired today. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't know why I woke up. I woke up at like 5.30 this morning, which, you know, I went to bed at like maybe 11 last night or something. It wasn't the least amount of sleep I possibly could have gotten. I definitely got some. Oh, I meant to talk about this. I, I, I forgot to bring this up on Yucks. I was watching Celerity today. Found out that Young Kappa, you know, it says gain plus one one when adjacent characters die. Adjacency bonuses work in slot five. You can put a cat box in four and put a Kappa in five and it grows off the cat and the summons. I would not have expected that. That was, I put it in the bug reports today, but that's something I learned today, watching Celerity play. All right, we definitely are taking a level six treasure here. I didn't get punished for taking that map. My board got, oh, we are taking a symbol of unity and I know precisely where this wants to go. Uh, and I'll even sell the frog for the shield. It's not that important, but it's okay. You've cracked two times. You got four more pops. Okay, we're, we're chilling. We're chilling. Hit the button. Why is Rashi a mod? It's to protect me from you. Well, no, it's uh, well, actually, no, it actually, uh, it was Keith, but it's also Happy. <laughs> Keith and Happy both have this history with Rashi, and Rashi, <laughs> Rashi needs a sword to move freely. It turns out. <laughs> You don't want protection. I mean, I can unmod you if that's actually true. Kappa's better than I thought if that isn't a bug. Still not great. Though. Well, the the thing, the reason I saw, I saw it happening and then I thought, you know, I don't know that I'm necessarily entirely mad at it. It's unintuitive. So like in that regard, it's weird. But I don't know that I'm mad at it because the position you have to put it in, right? Position five is an important slot on your board. You don't want a big melee chonker there. You want it on the front line, right? You want it trading two for one. So functionally, I don't think it's that busto. Just confusing. I, I, absolutely confusing in my opinion. Oh, magic bean. We don't need the ice ring. Yeah, actually we do need the ice ring. We don't need the egg shrine. Nah, we don't need the ice ring. I got a magic bean. I got it, I got it, I got it, got it, got it, got it. Although, what I want to do is triple a four into a five. What I'm looking for is a five, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm absorbing this magic bean on a five into a six, but I really want to get a level five treasure. We need to take another fluff. You can drop your green and red fluffs in chat now if uh, you are so inclined. i take some health and... Definitely want another book. I don't have enough to sell here to get it. But I'm going to sell that to open up a slot, fling the spell, lock it. Let's go. I do need to get a purple fluff here. <laughs> it's funny, I took a boost treasure. I don't have a single boost character. I have that, well, now I do. I have the one on the bench. Horse, don't you do it. You know I'm doing it, Fire Oak. You know precisely where I'm going. <laughs> you know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, Livy's got a really good fluff rainbow emote too. I like that one. If you're not subbed to Livy. I mean, seven might be adjacent to the first bench spot. And buff it safely from the slot seven guy. I don't know how you're going to get the slot seven guy to perish, Missing Matter, but... I, the way that we've learned that dogs consider slots one through seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like, if you put a husky in twelve and then put it to one, it'll get... It'll get a it'll get a benefit or a bonus like it went from 12 to 1 as opposed to like, you know, when you go from 1 to 7. So the bench does just kind of count as an extension of your board in this game. An FDF player who hits ready? What does this world come to? A better place. Bam! Good morning. Whoa, whoa. 
Imagine playing mages with spell books. Weird. I mean, I got I got a couple of them, I guess, but imagine <laughs> it looked like they were intending to play mages with spell books. Imagine imagine that being your first plan when you get a spell book. <laughs> we need to get extra fluffy. I'll take that cat bottle. Ah, uh, yep. Also, I do want that. I could sell off the egg. It's not terribly important. So this goes here, that goes there. These go boop boop. Maybe I do just trade that out or do a food stance. That's all I ask of you. <laughs> Take a chance on me. I want to combine that because I want all the stats consolidated. I think I'd rather just save a money for next turn. Uh, you know, I can combine it right now. I don't need a lane. That's fine. Let's just do it. Plus, I kind of want to save the Narcissus. I need a level 5 treasure. Let's do a shooting star here just for... Well, we don't have a lot of summons. Yeah, Odin Raven instead, then. Never mind. I'll keep the Armored Egg for right now. I'm saving the Narcissus. Okay! It's slightly come together. <laughs> There's a combination of things you can do in this game with Symbol of Unity, which really only mostly interacts with Purple Fluff. But Purple Fluff says, if, if I am a Fluff... Trigger my dying breath an additional time. Usually that only work with fluffs, but because it's a boost, that removes the fluff restriction. Well, the book mage, it happens to do some stuff on a dying breath. <laughs> so we're not buffing fluffs. We're buffing books. Welcome to fluff book. I actually got it online in a timely fashion this time around. So I think it's got a shot to do some work potentially. This is a thing that can do some things. I need a level 5, though, because I need uh, double boost treasure. What is that thing called? Eh, anyway, it's a level 5. It's got a little glove. <laughs> Green fluff plus red fluff equals purple fluff. That's true. <laughs> Krista. <laughs> Krista, did you want this to be pure fluff gameplay? It's time for fuzzy books. Yep. <laughs> they're like, uh, they're, they're fluff fluffs in disguise. Zoop. Zoop. And I got some tempo from the fluff stats, and I got some scam from the books. No, no, no it's a uh, green plus red. Fetty, Fetty did the the math equations right there in chat, Krista. <laughs> I gotta stop giving you a hard time. Oh, I get. I, <laughs> I was picking on. I thought Keith was trolling you the other day, though, too. So that's my excuse. In in my defense, I thought. <laughs> I'm allowed to troll you because I was pretty sure Keith was doing it the other day. Even though I know Keith was not actually actively trolling you. Or not purposely. He was actively trolling you, but not on purpose. Ooh, book. Need book. More book. Take a chance on me. Mm, I got the mana. I think I take the book right away. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. Alright, we're just hanging on to the accolade for right now. <laughs> This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, bam, no. But that's a good call because the purple fluffs would be bigger. But no, no, this is this is about spellcasting, friend. This ain't about the fluffs. It's about it's about spells. <laughs> Green fluff plus red fluff plus purple fluff equals <laughs> book mage with a gun. Oh, you're writing for cosmetics. Okay, yeah, yeah we gotta. I'll, I gotta remember to, uh, I'll unlock something. We gotta do that, okay. Ah, uh, walking sponge, no, I don't think so. Cause it's not like I'm buffing a board of mages with this. What I wanna do is get more books, more and more and more and more, just more books, and then get some Witch Queen Hecates. And then I'll just use Hecates for tempo. Yeah, but it's not about the book's attack, right? The only thing that I really care about having attack is this Acolyte back in position 5. I don't care if the books trade, I care if their spells trade. Like, I want their spells to do massive work. Okay, do we get the thing? 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 We didn't get the thing. We reroll these things. Okay, that was an easy reroll. Didn't get the thing. That's not worth using in this spot. Oh! <laughs> I need to find a Narcissus. All right, I reroll level fives until I get double boost treasure. That's really needed. I'm gonna just fling a spell or two here, I suppose, if they arrive. 
Okay, seems good. Hit the ready button. So what I'm looking for the next stage of this nonsense is mage gloves. I need a level five. I need mage gloves. I don't really care. I'd take Divine Messenger as well if I could have like a full front line of book, but mage gloves. Oh, 500 bees. Reroll says at the start of your next turn, lose two gold. So instead of having 14 next turn, I'll have 12. In two turns, get offered a batch of level five treasures. I think it can include the same offerings as the previous batch. I'm not certain on that. But in two turns at the very beginning of my turn, like like when you completed a Lancelot quest in SBB and at the beginning of your turn, a treasure select would pop up in two turns. So basically I just, you know, I part laid it for two turns later and lost a little bit of gold. But what it does is instead of picking something that, you know, is a side grade here, I can definitely just hunt the upgrade. All right, here come a whole bucket of spells. <laughs> this is, I don't know how I feel about this being a thing, but it is a thing. Oh, you were lamping Fire Oak. Yeah, you didn't want me to do that because you know how ludicrous a build it is. GG's. See, like, I, I started this turn at 12 gold. So immediately the following turn, you lose your money. But then in two turns, you get to have a shot at the treasure you really wanted. I definitely need more purple fluffs. Always more purple. Purple is the color of fluff. Not red. More books. Definitely more books. I'd take a upgrade arena spell. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ah, that's what we need. Uh, that means I got to sell off Narcissus. I don't like it, but I got to do it. That's part of this too. And sure. Fling a spell. Now uh, that does mean the Acolyte's no longer very important. I just want to get a Hecate for the front line. So what this ultimately wants to be is purple fluff, purple fluff, book, 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 you know, Hecate over here, Merlin to double up the, to add another instance of boost. But for right now, I kind of got a position around my Acolyte and just do it this way. It's all right. Again, it's more, I, I only win the fights via the scam from the spells. I don't win the fights other ways, right? I, the, I, I'm not putting, none of the stats on the board count for anything. The only thing that really counts is do my spells get there or not. Now, when I get Hecate, that'll be a good stat unit. That'll count for something. That may be more toxic. It might be Fire Oak. From what I'm hearing and from what I've experienced, I've fought a couple of chair comps now. And the people who have been playing and limit testing them, they're, they're, the, this and chair comp are probably the two most annoying things to have evolved. Honestly, I could flip over to something more honorable and play good boy, because good boy counts with this too, you know? That that was the way, the only way I ever used Symbol of Unity to begin was purple fluff and a good boy. That's pretty good. Also, click. <laughs> it kind of is, Brohaven, it kind of is. Well, no, it, it pretty much is that. You like Watson Fluff symbol, so you can build up massive hero attack. <laughs> you really really uh, confused about this whole mining situation today, Haps. Bonk, hello. Yeah, if you can scam my backline supports, but the problem is I have enough of them now that you have to scam more than one of them, right? Because this is so many spells. That was a convincing board to start the combat and it evaporated. <laughs> it's gone and it's gone. <laughs> And it's gone. Oh, mage gloves. Let's go. This just got even more disgusting. I don't need the egg treasure. Okay, so... This is additional two, additional one. Merlin adds another one. So two goes to three. Three goes to four. <laughs> so, you know, we're adding four extra copies. I think if I'm doing the math right, this one casts eight spells, these cast, well, this one casts four. This one's only supported by this one. So, you know, it's only getting one. Well, oh man, or no, it's getting an extra four. So it's casting 10, huh? Cause it's got its original one too. Ludicrous. Ah, oh, there it is, Hecate. Let's go. Cause I'm TNT, oi, oi. I guess I would, I'm not hunting a particular treasure anymore. I just want to get my upgrade of purple fluff. I want to get more Hecates. I would spend 12 gold upgrading a book. I think I'm going to fling a minus hundo here. I don't, there's not that much. 
The other nice thing about this is once I start getting this kind of critical mass of pieces, there's not that much else that I'm looking for, right? I just want to get more instances of spell casts, so I'm just looking for more spell casts here. <laughs> Happiness! <laughs> Having your existential mod crisis today. It's because I trust you. I can answer that question. Lying is grounds for banning here. Well, I mean, it's, it's in the name. We just need to find an item that triggers dying. Yeah, yep, yep, we'll get one of those. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some of those if I see them bonk now. I'll, I'll do that. I definitely wanna upgrade the Merlin. I wanna upgrade the fluff. But what about the bug? But what about the bug? It's true. Whoa. It's so many spell casts. Even the non upgraded books are so many spell casts. What are you supposed to. What are you supposed to do? Wee, 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 wee! <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing. I think this may be entirely toxic, huh? Oh, dwarf stats, you. This is. You're fighting far too fair. For your own sake, I hope you're not fighting this fair when we fight here again. Bum, 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 bum. Do I double down? Triple down? Quadruple down? I think I do. Oh, heck yes. Oh, sorry to sorry to break out the strong language, but we're we're heck yesing up in here now. Skip that. Don't care. Oh, yeah, I can cast spells because they're basically free, right? I got not free so much in terms of gold cost, but in terms of mana, I got a bunch. <laughs> oh, this build. Uh, sure, I don't know. Do I? I don't need to be an amateur anymore. I'm no amateur. No, oh, but I can't afford it unless I sell off something I don't want to sell off. Maybe I don't care about these books, though, because I have a million books now, as long as it doesn't get scammed. All right, let's trade out. Icarus, no. Guanyin, no. Brother Gambler, yeah. Absolutely. I know I don't have anything to float this turn, but I'll have lots of mana that I don't care about spending next turn, or, you know, I can just take the next turn off, maybe. <laughs> hey, Falco! Okay. Uh... It's not quite complete, because I don't have upgraded Merlin, but... This is about as far as this goes, and you see that it hits its final form right around turn 15 here. This is a quick lobby, honestly. Oh, they got all my extras, though. Hold on. Flying on the... Flying on the big dude. Messed me up. Ah! <laughs> okay, I can't get away with precisely all of that. Or can I? I mean, I could throw a chair down and just... I don't want to. What if I don't got it? I mean, I gotta, I gotta have my back line though, right? They're gonna keep that flying item going for sure. That's too good for them to abandon. They're definitely... Who? Is this someone I know? I'm not familiar with that name. Okay. They're definitely playing around me, right? We're playing around each other. They're, they're adapting. It's not like that's a save board. We are in a heads up here. Celery tea, not so much. I guess I do gotta buy a chair if I see one. And just stick it in front of these two. Baby, 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 baby. Uh, I mean, I should care about Hecates, but I really kind of don't. Oh, Merlin the Magician. Merlin the Magician. S there are seven types on my board. You know what? I'm gonna take it. Am I gonna take it? It doesn't really matter. Remove ranged and unyielding. These don't really help much. Honestly, Odin's Raven's better. Never mind, skip it. Bum 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 Mmm I was looking for a chair. I didn't find one. You got anything you don't have anything small on this board, your dwarf. Dwarf don't got nothing small. Dwarf don't know the word small. Dwarf only get big. I gotta heal.
We can make this take a little longer. <laughs> yeah, I was never a fan of wall comp. They can just celery team me, it's true. You know, I don't totally either, but it was in uh it was featured prominently in, epi in an episode of Ted Lasso, which makes me love it. Well, this is what I... So last time they had a spell take out one of my units, and then... They had the flying take out the other one. This is more what I expected. Even with a flying. <laughs> We're going streaking! 42 months, Trestus! Thank you for the 42 months, dude. But I mean happiness, she comes to her, she's like a rainbow. How is that not clear? <laughs> what, what question could you possibly have? She, she comes to her, she's like a rainbow. Oh, double boost is really good, but I think I do actually go chase in the chair. Oh, definitely fling one of them. There we are. I'll lock for that. Could do like this as well, so I get the range going before the unyielding. I kind of like the unyielding getting their hits in, and I need that popping first and fast ASAP. <laughs> you wanted to put the pen dragon? Nah, 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 nah. We are committed to fluff book here. These are some fluffy books that we were building, and that is what we were doing. Oh, that show is, yeah, that show is so good. That show is so good, dude. Also, I can't die in a single hit, by the way based on how damage works in this game. You can only take 20 at a time. That was even better with text-to-speech, yeah. I'm glad I enabled that. I didn't have that on for years, but I finally went, we gotta have that for the resubs. What's up, Gold Ergo? I am, I am still in Texas. I uh, shot off some fireworks on New Year's because I can do that here. <laughs> it's kind of funny, I grew up as a kid and fireworks were always illegal, couldn't do that, but out in Texas, it's a different ball game, huh? So Chatham, the, the key elements to this are symbol of unity that say your aura and boost don't care about types except cat. Purple fluff says boost. If I'm a fluff, trigger my dying breath two times. Symbol of, well, one time not upgraded, two times upgraded. Symbol of unity removes that restriction. Therefore, any dying breath you want to trigger multiple times with symbol of unity and a purple fluff, you can do that. Oh, they got the golden king. Ah, the chair. This is gotta be over. Now that I got even more spells than last game or last turn. There's no way. There's no way. There's no. There's. This is over. This. There's too many spells. You can't dodge them forever. Laugh at it. Run from it. Cry about it. The spells come all the same. Whew. That's the thing you can do in this game, and I think I may actually need some adjustment. 